Well, something is brewing with Tori tonight as part of our ongoing series highlighting small businesses. Tori took a coffee break at a local shop where community is always on the menu. And she's here now to join us for a sip or two. Yuki was saying we love your mug shot. <laughs> oh, my nice. you guys like that. Thank you very much. I like that. <laughs> He's on all night. Wait, are you guys coffee drinkers? That was good news. Uh, I like it. Yeah. Sometimes. We're, yeah? Okay. Yes. Sometimes I'll take you? His. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, this place is actually not too far from the studio, so you need to put this on the oh, to-do list. Okay. And okay. if you are like me, and maybe you drink your coffee in pots rather than cups, <laughs> uh, this place is a must for that Java Jolt. It is a great spot, you guys, and what is even cooler about this place is you know that moment when you're just like, oh, I need my coffee. Well, this place has just what you need, and it turns out when they needed help from the community to survive this pandemic and being in business, their community had their back. Take a look. Can I tell you what I love about coffee? When I hold that in my hand, and I look into that abyss, <laughs> I just see and feel and think of nothing yes. except just that. That's mm -hmm. it. That's it. Did you have to sit with me? Like, can you get my coffee? It's hot. And then you start your day. That's it. And here's where to start it. Coffee Cream and Dreams off of Fairmount Avenue is a coffee shop where you can feel time stand still while sipping fresh, hot coffee and maybe savoring a pastry or treat because you just feel in the moment. Good morning. It's your morning spot, your afternoon spot, and any time in between spot. And owners Sonia and Stephanie are here to make your coffee, latte, and life just a little easier. Why do you love coming in here? Because it's zucchini bread for vegans. <laughs> zucchini bread for vegans? That's the only reason? Okay. You don't love us? I love you. <laughs> for both of them, they say it sure beats working. For a long time, I've been wanting to open a coffee shop, like a long, like probably over 10 years. An opportunity presented itself through a voluntary layoff at my job. So I was like, oh. Yeah, I'll sign the paper, I'm open for coffee shop. Sonia was looking for something to do because she was retiring, so I just kind of texted her and said, Coffee Cream and Dreams, and she was like, call me. So <laughs> I'm like, I'm out of here. So, I love La Cologne coffee, so I knew that I was going to have La Cologne coffee in the coffee shop, so that was easy. It just feels so comfortable here. We get like, that a lot. Yeah, like I kind of feel like, why can't everything be this easy? Well, I think it's probably the people. It's just probably more of who we are. The hard part came when COVID hit, but because of who they are and how they serve others, it didn't stay too hard for too long. It was a challenge, but this neighborhood, they support, support, support. They were coming in just buying gift cards, just leaving them, just or, or buying them and say, we're not going to spend it, you know. The community here is great. So Julia is one of our favorite customers, so we made a drink after her. Americana Juliana. Yes. We're in a time where there's so many things that are complicated and tough to know that in this neighborhood, people have a place they can walk in and be perked up. Even if it's for the moment, at least later that day, they can probably say, you know, I had a good experience when I walked in that coffee shop today. We've learned so many things during this pandemic. Uh, and as we are still in it, I think this piece was a good reminder of it's just those simple things that sometimes that just mean so much. The way you start your day, your coffee pick me up even midday, and also the business that you support and the people that you support that are like, hey, we got your back. So yeah. please go yeah. see my girls at Coffee Cream and Dreams. And uh, you hey. still feeling that mug shot, Jake. I'm going to put that in my you pocket. That? We know, I, I need to get over there and support, support, support. That's what it's all about. They're waiting on you. They are? Okay, I'll do that. Was that a jelly donut you were eating? Uh, that was a beignet, and it oh, was beignet. Ben Hey. Ben <laughs> so good. Hey, watch it. What's in that coffee? All right. All right, Tori. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Appreciate it.